For as long as I can remember, I've been fascinated by the night sky. That passion to study the heavens above has led me on a journey to image the incredible objects of our solar system, galaxy, and beyond. Let's go outside and explore the night sky together to experience the joy of astrophotography. Our object tonight is the planet Mars. Perhaps no other thing in the night sky has captured the imagination of the public like our friendly red neighbor. From the War of the Worlds to the Martian Chronicles to Mars attacks, we're kind of obsessed with this planet, and rightfully so. About every two years, Earth and Mars come into opposition with each other. That pretty much means that the Earth moves in between the Sun and Mars putting us at one of our closest points to this planet. If you go outside right now, it'll rise in the east right as the sun sets in the west, making it a perfect target for you to visually see or image, especially as it gets higher and higher into the sky throughout the night. Let's head on over right now to our equipment to take a look at how we're going to image Mars tonight. We're at the telescope on a cold and clear night with almost no wind and the atmosphere is very steady. These are near perfect conditions for where I live for getting out to image the planets. And the name of the game for Mars or any planet in our solar system is high frame rate imaging. We're actually going to be capturing videos of this planet using a DSLR camera shooting at about 60 frames per second. But if you can go up to 120 or 240, that's going to be key to you breaking through the atmosphere to really pick out those split second instances where there's sharp views of these planets. Be sure for any planet, but especially Mars, that you let it get high into the atmosphere. I've waited until about four hours after sunset for it to be pretty much straight up so that we can cut through as little of the atmosphere as possible to hopefully get some very sharp images of it. Mars is so close to Earth right now with it being right near opposition. And this is really kind of a, the middle part of a six week window of time when it's really best about every two years to get out to observe and especially image this red planet. So let's begin by finding Mars through the finder scope, getting it lined up in the DSLR for our night of imaging this planet. Oh, there it was, just lost it. Let's see. Uh, right about there. Yeah, there it is. Still a little blurry. Focusing really is one of the key steps of this. Um, let's try to make it a little sharper. Yeah, that's better. So once I have it in the field of view, I like to let it just kind of sail across it. I don't have a tracking telescope. Uh, I don't have a Dobsonian on a go-to mount. So once I find it, I've got to kind of manually move it from uh, one corner of the frame to the other and let it pass by again. I'll do this for about two and a half to three minutes because after a while, the land features do start to change and it can actually blur the image because of Mars rotating itself can actually make out a polar ice cap and some land features. This is a good night for this, and it is a very steady night. One of the better nights I've had on imaging in a while. Everything mentioned in this video I've got covered in longer tutorials on how to image the planets, Mars, along with several others. And if you're interested in those videos, I'll be sure to leave a link to them in the description below. 
So now that I've got the video of Mars, I've got to go inside to process it and pick out the sharpest frames of it. I'll stack those frames into one image that'll then allow me to sharpen it and manipulate it to hopefully bring out some pretty incredible land features. So let's head inside right now to finish up this picture. Take advantage of every opportunity you have to view or image Mars when it is near opposition because it only happens about every two years. After finding Mars rising in the east and recording it with a telescope and camera, our journey imaging the red planet ends with this final processed image. I'm really pleased with how this final image came out after hours of preparation, capturing, and post-processing. Mars has captured our imagination for centuries, and I think this image helps to explain why. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and clear skies from late night astronomy.